Hi, Strangely Awesome Gamers. It's Meg with Strangely Awesome Games, and we are here to bring you a ranking of every map in the fan favorite Zombies Chronicles expansion from Call of Duty Black Ops 3. We are bringing another one of our own articles to life. You can find the link to our site for more articles like this one, and a direct link to this article with credits due to Hayden Lovely. Thanks, Hayden! As we celebrate the seventh anniversary of Zombies Chronicles, we're about to unveil our carefully ranked choices from worst to best of every map in the bunch. Get ready for some intense Call of Duty nostalgia. It's hard to believe, but Call of Duty Black Ops 3's Zombies Chronicles DLC is now, for real, seven years old. Several of the maps in Chronicles are now older than the originals when they were remastered. And yet, this supersized collection of remastered zombie maps is still considered the best moment in franchise history for Call of Duty zombie fans. The first, sadly, meaning the worst in our rankings of Zombies Chronicles is the Shino Numa map. Originally introduced in Call of Duty World at War, the OG version of Shino Numa was quite buggy. While Zombies Chronicles addresses those issues, it loses much of the map's original charm. World at War Shino Numa was limited by old hardware and would only spawn 24 zombies per round in solo matches. The map's wonder weapon, the Wonderwaff, is capable of killing that many with one shot. Players were able to reach insanely high rounds on this map, with the current record being around 11,843. Again, insane numbers! This took over 300 hours of playtime to complete, but sadly, feats like this just aren't possible in Black Ops 3's version of Shino Numa. While it is no longer the place to go for world records, Shino Numa in Zombies Chronicles is still a decent inclusion. As the name suggests, this collection is all about presenting the story of COD Zombies' main characters in one complete package. Since this is the first map where the Ultimate crew was originally introduced, it is still essential. However, Shino Numa's lack of pack and a punch and slow early to mid rounds makes it one that lacks replay value. Not to mention, hindsight hasn't been kind to this remaster, as Vanguard's reimagined version of the map is far superior. This is one of the only maps in Chronicles that is made worse by the version here. That's why Shino Numa is at our number 8 spot. Coming in at second from the bottom, the Zombies Chronicles remaster of Origins. Okay, put the pitchforks down. And remember, we're talking about the Zombies Chronicles version specifically. There is no denying Origins impact. The map served as sort of a reboot to the Zombies storyline as the last map to release for Black Ops 2 back in 2013. This fictionalized version of a diesel punk inspired World War I battlefield has incredible atmosphere, lore, and set the stage for the storyline to follow in Black Ops 3 and 4 with its mind-blowing cliffhanger. Like Shino Numa, Origin seems to be lessened in this remaster, and it mainly comes down to the weapon selection. In Black Ops 2, Origins introduced several weapons to the wall and the mystery box that were totally unique to this map. In Black Ops 3, much of the unique inclusions are missing, while several other maps follow Origins' quest-heavy style with four elemental wonder weapons. While it was highly original at its release, Origin doesn't stand out as much in a game filled with maps like Shadows of Evil and Der Eisendrach, both of which take massive leaps. That all being said, it is still a good map, and a worthy inclusion to Zombies Chronicles for its lore and story alone. Plus, the mythical staffs are so satisfying to use with the improved sound and graphics in Black Ops 3. Here in the number 6 spot is Shangri-La. Shangri-La is one of the most improved maps in Zombies Chronicles. The updated lighting gives a massive bump to Shangri-La's atmosphere, and the improved foliage truly makes this map feel like a lush jungle. There's no denying the otherworldly beauty of this map. Speaking of which, did we ever figure out whether or not this map is on Mars? Anyways, it wasn't just the visuals that were improved when Shangri-La was remastered for Black Ops 3. The gameplay of this map gets a big boost in this new version. 
Shangri-La has always been regarded as one of, if not the hardest maps in the mode's history. From its cramped, close quarters temples to the new types of zombies that attack the player, this map is filled with unique challenges. The weapons of Black Ops 3 are far more powerful than the arsenal on offer in the original Black Ops, where the map debuted. Combine this with the Double Tap 2.0 perk, which doubled bolts damage, and players finally have a fighting chance. For its atmosphere and unique gameplay, the Zombies Chronicles version of Shangri-La takes what was once the least favorite Zombies map and turns it into a sleeper hit that just keeps growing on you over time. In the number 5 spot, we have Verukt. Verukt is another map that plays far better in Zombies Chronicles than it did in World at War and Black Ops 1. This is another cramped, super challenging map and arguably Zombies scariest. The cramped halls, blood spattered walls, and electroshock therapy set up around the map is so eerie. We dare you try playing this map with headphones on. It's almost like you can hear the ghost from what went on there. Pair all that with extremely fast, close quarters gameplay and you get a zombies map with a true survival horror aura. One of the things that made Verukt such a challenge was its lack of a decent wonder weapon. In Black Ops 1, the map had the ray gun and the terrible Winter's Howl wonder weapon. In this iteration, Treyarch lets players get their hands on the DG2 in the mystery box. It's an excellent inclusion that fits in well with the tone of this terrifying map and gives players more of a fighting chance in higher rounds. Still, with its crazy fast pace, this is a great map to play when you want a quick burst of Call of Duty Zombies signature survival action. We are officially halfway through our list. Taking the number four spot is Zombies Chronicles version of Ascension. Ascension is a great map for casual zombies matches. It has always been a highly replayable map, making it fun, fast, and relatively accessible. The map has lots of open areas for players to use the training strategy and a great arsenal of weapons to take on the hordes with. Ascension gets several great additions in Zombies Chronicles that make it more fun than ever. Immediately noticeable is the red muted color palette that filters the screen before players turn on the power. Ascension's most iconic weapons return, with players able to use the Gersh device, Matryoshka doll grenades, sickle, and the iconic thunder gun. Black Ops 3 also adds Double Tap 2.0 and Deadshot Daiquiri into the mix. Ascension is one of Zombie's easiest maps due to its open layout and overpowered arsenal. Still, it is a blast to play, especially with friends. The Soviet Cosmodrome setting provides a perfect atmosphere for the original Black Ops Space Race setting. It also means there are devious little astronaut monkeys who will come to steal your perks on certain rounds. They pose a unique threat, but are never annoying as they will reward you with a free perk if you defend against them successfully, even if you're already at the standard limit of four. Here we are, our top three Zombies Chronicle map choices we think you should try while watching more of our videos in the background. Taking our number three spot is Kino der Toten. It's hard to say anything new about Kino der Toten. It's an absolute classic and has been since its release as the launch map for Black Ops in 2010. If you were to ask anyone to name a Call of Duty Zombies map or recall their favorite, there's a good chance they're gonna go for this iconic theater. Kino der Toten has always been incredible. The map has excellent atmosphere and features a massive theater with close quarters dressing rooms, a lobby which serves as a perfect spawn, and the famous stage. The stage area is one of the most monumental locations in all of Call of Duty Zombies. It was here, in combination with the excellent Thunder Gun Wonder Weapon, that the training strategy was truly born. Kino der Toten was and still is an excellent map. Whether you're looking for an intro to the series or trying to master high rounds, 
It's easy to be absolutely blown away by how much the map has improved visually in this remaster. Compared to Black Ops 1, this version of Kino has incredible lighting and ornate decor that makes for a hauntingly beautiful atmosphere. The runner up on our list coming in at number two might cause some debate. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Here is Nocturne and Toten. Now we're entering some hot takes. The community is very mixed on the Zombies Chronicle version of Nocturne and Toten. As the very original Call of Duty Zombies map back in World at War, Noct is the most bare bones zombies map ever. This map tasks players with surviving against hordes of zombies in a war-torn bunker building. All they have to use to survive is the weapons on the wall and the mystery box. That is, until the Black Ops 3 version released in Zombies Chronicles. This version of Noct adds the Wonder Fizz machine. This is essentially a mystery box for the mode's perks. This means the first time ever players were able to get perks like Juggernog, Speed Cola, and Double Tap. It completely changes the game. Combine those with the Thunder Gun and Rare Gobble Gums that allow you to pack a punch weapons, and Zombies Chronicles reinvents Nocturne Toten. Here at Strangely Awesome Games, we love it. While you can still play the map bare bones as it was in World at War and Black Ops, the new tools at your disposal allow you to play this map like never before. With a full squad, each with their own perks and weapon upgrades, Nocturne and Toten in Zombies Chronicles is one of the most chaotic experiences in the over 15 year history of this game mode. Here it is, the top of our list, the pick of the picks. Round up the zombies. Our number one and favorite map in all of Zombies Chronicles is Moon. Since its introduction in the explosive finale of the original Black Ops Zombies, Moon has been a standout. There truly is no other map like it. The setting, first of all, is bordering on the absurd, and we love it. Set in and around a Nazi moon base, this map plays off of wacky conspiracy theories to deliver the ultimate space age setting. Moon plays like no other map before it or since. Players start in Area 51 where they must survive in a no man's land with infinitely spawning aggressive zombies. Here they can access the pack-a-punch machine and either Juggernog or Speed Cola will spawn. For your more skilled players who can survive in this area for some time, this totally changes progression. Players who master No Man's Land can get some of the zombies' most powerful upgrades before round one. Then when they teleport to the moon base, the real fun begins. Players need to have a spacesuit to be able to breathe outside the base and inside before power is turned on. The spacesuit provides a unique atmosphere for zombies. Sound becomes muffled and muted, and the loudest noise you can hear is your character's mechanical breathing. Not to mention, players will have to deal with low gravity in these spaces. Players and zombies alike move different than any other map in these areas, and bounce around somewhat uncontrollably at times. It adds an extra layer to gameplay, and can cause some really great laughs. All that's not even to mention how beautiful this map is. Moon is the most improved map visually by far. In this remaster, Black Ops 1's grays are replaced with fantastic lighting and a vast skybox. Once you make it into the biodome on the map, Black Ops 3 looks really start to shine. The green foliage looks great, even nearly a decade later, and serves in contrast so well with the vast nothingness of the exteriors. For its cosmic horror, unique gameplay, and pure camp, Moon is our number one map in all of Zombies Chronicles. You fight Nazi zombies on the moon and blow up the earth in the main quest. How could you possibly top that? And there you have it. Our top picks ranking all eight maps in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies Chronicles. What did you think? 
Did you agree? Disagree? Tell us about your thoughts or how you would arrange the picks in the comments below. And if you liked what you saw, give us a like. If you really liked what you saw and want some more, subscribe and binge our videos here on our channel or find tons of articles on our website. Looking to play the maps yourself? You can play Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Chronicles Zombies Edition now on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and PS5 or Xbox Series XS through backward compatibility. Now, from us to you, we thank you for watching and your support. Let us know what you'd like to see next and check out our website. You can even suggest it be made into a video if you'd like to see it brought to life like this one. Until next time, keep being you, strangely awesome gamers.